Hello everyone, thank you for joining me for yet another tutorial. Today I am going to be sharing with you a set of stamps that I purchased um, just recently through Amazon and they are clear rubber stamps um, and of course if you're card making you would run into finding all sorts of uh, different kinds of um, specialty stamps like photopolymer stamps, there's lawn fawn stamps, I mean there is, um, there's all sorts to be honest, hero stamps, just a whole bunch of them. Now, um, what I have found was that the stamps tend to be a little expensive, you know, to start off when you're buying the brand name ones, and as anything else, you want to also be able to use stamps that, you know, look good on your cards. So what I have been doing, I have been experimenting with different um, acrylic stamps from different places as far as uh, China um, and of course uh, Michael's, which is one of the places I get my stamps most of the times. And today I decided, or at least last week or the last three weeks, somewhere there about, I decided to um, order one from Amazon. Now, this one is called a Joyful Home One Piece Leaves Rubber Stamp. Um, it's a clear stamp or clear stamps. And basically, it came, I think, almost a month since it was ordered and I even forgot about it and it came today. So it came in the acetate, you know, in a just a little sleeve and, of course, in the envelope, you know, um, there. And um, I'm going to, you know, uh, be just basically, you know, uh, messing around with it on this, uh, in this video. So we can take a look and see, you know, the kind of quality stamp it is. So um, before we continue again, um, I would appreciate um, if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. And of course, to be able to stay informed with any um, videos every Sunday, please go ahead and click on that bell so that you will not miss any of the future videos. Now, this, this stamp here, I forgot where I got this one. I think I ordered it from online. I'm not sure if it was through Amazon or if it was through eBay. Um, there was also an app that I use. It's called Wish. I don't know how many of you have heard of Wish, but Wish has a lot of card making things from um embossing folders to acrylic stamps to um cutting machines just different things you know if you're looking for um that it's, it's called wish and it's um well i have an android phone so i just download it from there but you could also explore that avenue too if you're looking for stamps you know just to try them out so i'm going to go ahead and start working with those now, I kind of was messing around with them already because I was just excited they finally came and I wanted to kind of try them out. So what I'm going to do here, I do have a palette. It's a Ranger um, palette here with four different colors on there, but I'm just going to use the green um, part of it. I think that green is called a, let's see. Ah. Uh, Oh dear, I'm not even sure which is it. I know there's the black, there is the something, bubblegum pink. Um, I'm not sure which one that is to be, or maybe Calypso Teal. Yeah, that could be the one it could be. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to use the green one and we're going to go ahead and try those um, stamps. Ugh, I got myself all messed up with that. So let's go ahead. Um, I'm going to do the individual stamps. I'm just going to do them just different colors. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to use the green for this one. So we can see how it turns out. And again, I'm just dabbing to make sure that I get the color in all the little grooves. Hopefully that will work. And I am going to just stamp. Now, when you are using those stamps, you do not rock the stamps or swivel them whatever you want to call it just put it on the paper with gentle pressure and then you should be able to get a good print now let me show you this while i was talking my finger did a little shimmy 
Can you see what happens? I don't know if you can see it. It looked like it got a little smudgy. That's what happens when you rock your stamp or you somehow just kind of your hand gets um, a little fidgety maybe. you can. This is the sort of thing that can happen. So now I'm going to do it properly this time. So I'm putting the stuff on here. And now I'm going to just press, like I mentioned, no shimmy, no hand doing any fun, fancy stuff. I'm going to remove it. Now look at the difference. Okay, you see the difference here? This is the one that my hand kind of moved a little bit. This one is the one I just put it down and did the pressure. You can see the distinctive difference between the two. So that's just a little tip on when you're using um, acrylic stamps. I'm going to go ahead and try another one. We're going to see how this one goes. Let's get this one the same way. Now, this one, I didn't really double check to make sure that all the grooves got the ink, but I just wanted to... There you go. I just wanted to, um, again, show you. So I'm going to do each of those, and then we're going to take a look at them. So I'm going to be just silent here for just a moment while I do so. Just going to use a little red here for just just because I can. Again, we're not rocking the stamp. We're just applying a little bit of pressure so that it will come off. I'm just going to use the different colors here so we can take a look at it. Again, just applying pressure, no rocking. Let's see, is this one big enough? Let's try to use this one. I'll use this one red too. They're looking pretty as a matter of fact. Now I'm going to use a bigger block that I have for the bigger stamps. These blocks have lines on them. Um, you can use them if you want to like kind of align them with anything. But right now I'm not aligning. I'm just, I don't know if you can see the lines on there. I'm just uh, trying out the stamp. That's it. No, no fancy stuff. So I'm going to try this other blue one again. Now you have a couple of options when you do those stamps. You can choose to stamp them separately and then fussy cut them out so that you can use them as de for decorations, you know, or for some kind of dimension on your cards. That's an option. And then, or you can leave them like that. Just, you know, go ahead and do what you want to do. This And then I have a last one that I'm going to use. We're going to see how that one works. Okay, we're going to use the 
the green on that one like we did the others or some of the others so i'm just kind of dabbing it a little bit on the pad so hopefully this one will get the ink in all the grooves and crevices so we don't have to wonder so i'm going to do this here gentle pressure and we're going to lift okay now i have done all now take a look at this again this is the one that i did before and like my hand kind of did a little shimmy you know like a little rock and then if you can see it actually distorted the image now from this point on i just i didn't shimmy but if you notice some of those little blank spots may have been where the ink didn't get in you know like this one has a couple of spots in there um i think with this one i did not ink it enough you know again i'm just playing around with it this one likewise i did not ink it enough so there's spots in there and um but for the most part they they look pretty good you know for that set that set is called again <clears throat> the joyful home one piece leaves rubber clay um stamp it's for card making and scrapbooking i got it from amazon from a company called beauty basket and the brand i'm not sure if i pronounce that correctly but is wu yang fun um i'm not sure if that is maybe it's an i guess an asian but there you have the leaves and i think they look really pretty especially if you combine them with different colors now if you have um any of those um stamp i call them applicators if you have something like the misty tool or you have one of those like the um we are memory keepers precision uh pressed advanced um, stamping tool um what happens is once you position it um, and let me show you how these work if you're not too familiar with those um we're just gonna do this demonstration really quickly so i have let me get another oh yes i have this here this uh, momento black ink here it's a permanent ink dye i am going to use this mountain scenic view here so that i can show you how those tools work there are different types of tools there's the misty tool there is the this one there is some other um generic ones not generic yeah generic just different ones that you can use but it's, it does the same thing basically what it does it allows you to place your uh your stamp wherever you want the image to come out and then if you're satisfied with where that is all you simply do is you go ahead and just press on it okay so then the image it's picked up so if you notice it's picked up all right now what you would be doing is just applying what you need so these are just mountains so i'm going to just dab on there and apply some of that so you can either use the blocks if you want to do your stamping or you can use this um, type of tool now what this does is that when you go ahead and put your um stamp your image on basically if say for any reason a part of it did not ink properly like in the case of the the leaves that i have then you can always go ahead re-ink it because you're going to still have it the same position you can re-ink and then you can just go ahead and just be okay because you know that is going to go exactly in the same position there will be no extra lines or anything so i'm going to show you so i have done it twice just so that you can see so here is how the image will be so you will still have everything crisp just a little more uh, of, of a, a deeper color or if you want it lighter it's up to you but these these tools are very handy so 
that was just a little tip on the side but yes as far as the stamp the leaves i believe i am satisfied with them and how they came out again let's take a look these are the leaves and as you can see you know once you ink the stamp properly and then you just again don't rock just gentle pressure you can get some really lovely you know um images and prints okay so thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you guys next sunday please be safe and do all you can to protect yourself and your family especially during this very difficult time have a blessed week bye bye